this video, we will look at marginal cord insertion. Marginal cord insertion is when the umbilical cord makes an abnormal attachment to the placenta. The placenta and uterus are the baby's lifeline during pregnancy, so they must function properly. Normally, the umbilical cord is supposed to insert and attach to the center of the placenta, called central cord insertion. A marginal umbilical cord insertion occurs when the cord attaches on the side of the placenta instead of in the middle. Marginal cord insertion is considered abnormal. This complication occurs in 9% of pregnancies. Marginal cord insertion is problematic because the sides of the placenta are much weaker and are not able to properly support the cord attachment the same way that the central placental mass can. The exact causes of marginal cord insertion are not understood. Abnormal cord insertion seems to be associated with impaired development and function of the placenta. Marginal cord insertion is more likely to occur in a multiple pregnancy and in cases where fertility treatments have been used. But these are the only known risk factors for this condition. Marginal cord insertion does not result in any noticeable physical symptoms, but abnormal cord attachment is easy to diagnose with a prenatal ultrasound. The only problem is that ultrasound scanning cannot determine the exact type of placenta and umbilical cord abnormality. Marginal cord insertion can potentially impact fetal development and growth by reducing the blood flow and circulation to the fetus during pregnancy. Marginal cord insertion can also increase the chances of developing another placental condition known as placental previa which occurs when the placenta is abnormally located at the bottom of the womb and is partially or completely blocking the entrance to the birth canal. There is no effective treatment to correct marginal umbilical cord insertion. What can be done to minimize the risk of marginal cord insertion is timely diagnosis and careful monitoring of the condition.